We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles, to gadget reviews, and, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges, to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs, bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. This is our second fridge cam where we're going to test, taste and review a few food trends we find on TikTok. We have found three to review today. We're going to cook them all and then we're going to pick one to put our own twist on. Up first, Barry and James are making carrot bacon. I'm excited. I'm not. <laughs> right, come on, keep an open mind here, mate. Come on. Right, you ready for this? I'm ready. Would you see carrots or do you see bacon? Carrots. Um, well, I can see that it does look a bit like bacon. No, it doesn't. It looks crisp. It's crispy. It's crinkled all up. Smoky maple carrot crisps. Doesn't that sound better? I'm completely biased because I love Tabitha Brown and her voice could tell me to do anything and <laughs> I would do it. Okay, so basically this is carrot ribbons marinated in a smoky, sweet flavoured okay. maple syrupy glaze. And then we're going to put it in the oven and not an air fryer. Yes, until it gets crispy. Okay. So I'll do carrots and you do marinade, yeah? Sure. Uh, I'm peeling some carrots mm -hmm. and now I'm peeling them into ribbons at the same place each time. You're calling them ribbons as yeah. opposed to rashers? <sighs> yep. <laughs> I have nothing wrong with these recipes, just don't call it bacon. Do you know what I mean? So our marinade is onion granules, garlic powder, smoked paprika, some liquid smoke and some maple syrup. Stir together and in with your carrots. A bit of peps? Oh yeah, lots of peps. Interesting that I would associate bacon often with being quite salty. Yeah, no but salt there's no there. salt in this or in the carrots. Should we season it? Doesn't say to put the salt in her one, so let's stick to that. Okay. The carrot ribbons go into the marinade. That looks good. Line them up on a baking tray. Um, she used an air fryer, so I thought to get a similar-ish effect in an oven, it might be good if they got some air underneath them. Mm, airflow. Get the crispiness. Oh, I'm just deviating from the recipe now and, and putting the excess marinade over the carrots, because flavour. That goes into the oven for 10 minutes, but we're going to keep an eye on it, because we're not sure. And then we'll see what we've got. OK, we're good. Please do it. I smell it. Oh, it's looking crispy. I see it. How are they looking? Yeah, they look good. Oh, they're, they're, oh, they're, oh, they're, oh, they're getting oh. crispy, but they're soft in places. As an addition to like salads and stuff, crispy vegetable shards are excellent. So what is what stopped that from crisping? I reckon probably lower temperature for longer. You know what it might have been? It might have been where you started liberally chucking extra sauce on top of it. It might have been. <laughs> have you tried it without me? It sounds crispy from here. I really like it. Yeah, so do I. It's really nice because it's carrots Good. with liquid smoke and maple syrup on them. It doesn't taste anything like bacon whatsoever in any way, but it is delicious. It's reminiscent of bacon. If I was craving bacon and I couldn't get my hands on any, this would get me a little bit closer to it. I completely understand why, especially on a platform like TikTok, it uses the word bacon. You've got a fraction of a second to attract attention before someone scrolls away. And bacon is going to do that more than carrot, despite the fact that carrot crisps, especially these ones, are delicious. I, listen, I'm, I'm fully aware that I'm going to sound grumpy on this video, but... On this video? <laughs> but... It tastes delicious. Stop calling vegetables bacon. I do think that's great. Is it a pass? Yeah, definitely. Number two. Good time to watch some TikTok. <laughs> oh, while you clear down, I might watch some TikTok. <laughs> cloud bread. And if it's anything as good as cloud eggs, you are going to have funny feelings in your trousers. Essentially, this is like, it's a mix between a meringue and a bread. Let's watch and find out. Guess what? It's so easy to make. Start by separating three eggs. Place just the whites into a mixing bowl. Whip them until they become frothy. Ebers, before you say anything, how much do you hate it? I don't like colouring things for the sake of colouring things. It's meringue, which is cool. It's cloud bread. Step one, separate your eggs. Egg whites into a mixer, whizzed up until stiff peaks and then in with sugar, cornstarch, vanilla extract, blue food colouring and whizzy whiz. 
So far, meringue. I have also heard of putting corn flour into meringue and it gives you a slightly chewier meringue, I think. But not this much, this is more. More flour, more like bread. So why do you think they're calling this bread? For the same reason we call carrot bacon? For the same reason it's bright blue. Of interest, what would you call this? Meringue. Are we happy with that blue? Loving the blue. I'm just saying we it could possibly take a bit more blue. You're colourblind. Blue's fine. <laughs> uh, right, he does one more test before he puts it. He out, does. Out Over his own head, I notice. Well, yeah, but you're here. <laughs> I think it might be ready. Gutted. That's no. a shame, isn't it? <laughs> I had enough confidence in the look of that. Right, Ebba's presentation is not either of our fortes, but you've got to make this look beautiful. Like a Jay, just saying. We've got some spare egg yolks. <laughs> you think on the top? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> like the biggest cloud volcano. Yeah. Smooth it into a mound. Some would say a loaf. Matthew in the kitchen left it like this, but I have seen another one that smothered it in some sliced almonds. You've put sliced almonds there. I have. It was kind of cool, didn't it, really? Could have been more blue. 148 degrees Celsius for about 25 minutes. 25 minutes and cooling time. It looks blue. <laughs> right, the iconic TikTok tear. <gasps> yes! yes! We did it! We never do these things and we've done one! It looks like a bath sponge. It, it does, doesn't it? I tell you what though, you lot have all cheered at the tear. None of you are holding it. <laughs> It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> weird, like weird how? Sticky and eggy. Like a meringue. Worse. Go on, give us a slice. It's tear and share bread. Oh. oh. It's satisfying to watch over and over again. It's a fun science experiment. Don't smell it. Oh! <laughs> but that does not smell good. Cheers, boys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh! It doesn't taste as bad as it smells. It's kind of marshmallowy. Mm. Uh, yeah. I wonder if you can make that good. A glimmer. I don't know. There was a glimmer there. There was. It is the most off-putting colour. Mm. And yet that's why it works on TikTok. But it's like raspberry colour, isn't it? Unless you've got egg whites left over because you've used the egg yolks for something useful, that's a no from me. Did you finish it? Yes, yeah, I think it's a yes from me. I think it's quite nice. What? It's, it was quite Moorish. The more I eat, the more I like it. Right. I'm not convinced. I think it's split opinion in the room. Should we try number three? Number three, the TikTok egg sandwich. Let's give it a watch. Okay. Do you reckon we do it in real time? Oh, yeah, 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 go on. We're cracking three eggs into a bowl. You know, black pepper, black pepper, black pepper. Tiny, tiny whisk. <laughs> My we, whisk is larger than We've his. got a bigger whisk than him. Yes, yes. Pam spray, pam spray. Nice, nice. Bread, bread. I'll fish the he's, bread he's out. He's fishing the bread out. Oh, the eggs are going in, the eggs are going in already. Bread goes in, and then I'm going to immediately turn it. So it's like eggy bread. Oh, oh he's, he's done a. Whoa, he's. Right. He's done a cut. Time oh, Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Did, oh, did the oh. chefs not keep up with the TikTok oh. person? Is that what happened? The chefs couldn't keep up? Just not quite up there with time travel. <laughs> so basically, you want to wait until the egg has cooked enough to flip the whole thing over and then we can add cheese, fold the sidey flaps in, fold it over, egg sandwich. Oh, 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 see, oh. oh, this could be bad. This could be really, really bad. Chefs, yes, if at any point you want to sub in. No, I've got my hands in my pockets and I'm, I'm almost subbing out because blame sharing's wonderful, right? <laughs> it's a little bit caught under there. I can see it, but you probably can't. No sh Evers. <laughs> 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 oh God! Evans ben, is back watching I, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, when he's when he's ready, I'll, I'll join back in. But at the moment, it's all about the juggling videos. Oh, five balls is always a challenge. <laughs> totally. No, I can't. No, I can't. Mm. Ready? Ready? You just gonna just go for it? Oh, he's back. He's back in the room. Nice colour on the bottom. You know I don't like this cheese. Well, again, too much plastic involved, both in the wrapping and the product. Snobby. I love this cheese. Do you know why I think this has become so popular? It's quite a cool folding technique. Nicely done, chef. I like it because I think that's a really good base. There you go, sir. Wonderful. 
Right, give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. I didn't actually need to taste that to know what that tasted like. It's, it, it's exactly what you expect. It's got a real McDonald's vibe to it, hasn't it? Oh, right. mm. American cheese is amazing on a burger. It's not amazing for breakfast. As a quick breakfast fix, it does the job. I'm having that tomorrow. I love the idea of this one. I think it's this one that we could give it the twist. I quite enjoyed making it. Did you? Yeah, I, I actually did. Do you know what I enjoy more, James? Shall we? Yeah. Let's swap. Okay, so we've had a think, and we're gonna stick to that same clever folding egg bread method, but we're gonna add a few flavours. It really doesn't need much doing to it. Boys, boys, we'll take it from here. Okay. I'm gonna crack our eggs and whisk them up. Same as before, whisk up three eggs, season, salt and pepper. Yeah, let's do some salt. I think it was missing a bit of salt. Salt, going in chef, pep. I think the thing James nailed before was kind of almost warming the pan up once the eggs are in there, so you don't want it too hot, but we're going to sub out oil for butter. Also, butter is like proper omelette techers, isn't it? Yeah, you're, add, you're adding flavour with butter. I notice you've gone still for... Well, we had a little bit of brioche, but I think that worked really well. Um, I don't think it needs to change. Get that bread in. So are we going egg on both sides or one or bareback? What would you like to do? Up to you. So the way we did it, you ended up with sort of eggy bread. It was kind of soaked. I have seen other videos where they leave the top dry and spray it so you get more like fried bread. Oh, he's, he's gone already. He's gone already. Decision he, made. He didn't, even, he didn't even contemplate. No consulting there. Just I, There wasn't much time to play okay, with it. That's it. true. Good techers. Keep it level. Keep it cooking even. You want to colour the egg on the bottom at about the same time it takes to cook it on top. We've also given you some different cheese, some cheddar, some fresh herbs in the form of basil and some andouille. Funnily enough, I actually think that American cheese would also work in this one. It and would. it just needed a little bit more with it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we've got andouille. What was the thinking behind that? It's, again, like the ease thing. So it doesn't need cooking like bacon does. It doesn't need chopping up like chorizo does. So the andouille is like an Italian sausage. It's, it's kind of smoky and garlicky and delicious. And spicy. It's got a kick to it as well. I guess the other thing you could use, again, for ease, is slices of salami or something. that You could just, they're already sliced and good to go. Tips on the flip, really quickly, because I'm getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Under one slice of bread, grab the pan with the other. It's looking, wow, it's looking good. Flip, baz, flip. Flip, baz, oh, flip. Goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm not confident. We've got this. There you go. I did it! You had it. I, had it. I had it all the time. Cheese. Cheese goes straight on. While it's still nice and hot, the cheese is going to go on. And do you? Oh, have you tested this? Uh, yeah, it's not that spicy. You want all of but, it? Um, no, I think that, you'd think that's probably good. And some basil. A couple You're of leaves just, just torn over. Then the egg fold. Oh, egg fold. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I'm interested. Should we have done it on both sides? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I thought that was going to be okay, but you need it on both sides. You don't need a little bit. Let's just spread it out a bit more. Same amount, but split between the two. I'm thinking the spicy sauce yeah. from the andouille, the oils that are going to come out of that, with the cheese. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Jay, can I compliment you on the confidence in which you did that and the fact that you were just chatting while you were doing it? That makes such a difference. No flap, just do it. Whack it on the board and give it a slice. Do it, do it, Ready? do it. I want a cross section. Oh, oh yes. yes, yes! Good job. Smells, looks great. Cheers. 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 Oh, it's got a cheese ball. Oh, basil. Yeah? No, basil. It's nice though. Also, I think this might be a little home for all the oregano I keep growing. Mm. Oregano would be lovely in this. It is delicious. It would be more delicious if there was no egg in it. But then that would just be a sandwich. But James, that's just a grilled cheese. I'm not sure I agree with that, but I think I want a little bit of crunch from something. It does need a, a bit more crunch or something else to it. But flavour-wise, that's really good. And I think the freshness of the herbs just takes it somewhere. Um, it's quite a cool technique. I like it. I've had fun and we brought them with us. On the that was a strong sandwich. Let us know in the comments down below, what flavours would you add to egg and bread in a foldy technique? And if you've seen any other intriguing food talk tre TikTok food trends, let us know about them. <laughs> <laughs>
Before you go, just a quick shout to say thanks to all of you who are using and sending us your thoughts on our PAX app. We wanted to create a tool to help you boss your midweek meals, cut down on food waste and reduce the cost of your weekly food shop. And you are helping us do just that. So thank you. We want to make this as accessible as possible right now. So if you haven't tried it, you can now for a full month absolutely free. The link is in the description box below. And now for the bloop. Sorry, do you guys keep hearing random noises whilst you're talking? Because it's Ben on TikTok watching different videos. It's amazing how many puppies and tractors you can see on TikTok. All crotch thrusting to Taylor Swift <laughs> remixes. <laughs> you're going to get me a reputation, Jamie. Oh. oh! He did one! He did one! You have no idea. I don't know what I've done. <laughs>